So with no clear election result, both major parties are now trying to show they have the support to form a minority government. Professor Clem McIntyre heads up the School of Politics at the University of Adelaide, and he joins me now. So Clem McIntyre, we're into an intense period of negotiations between the major parties and the independents. What factors will the independents be considering when deciding who to support? Well, they'll be balancing some of the concerns that are specific to their electorate, uh, things like uh, in, uh, telecommunications, infrastructure, broadband, provision of health and education services on the one hand, but they'll also be looking at uh, broader questions of the stability of the parliament, where the numbers, when we know what they are, when the, when the, when the final results are in, uh, and they'll be looking at the balance probably in the Senate uh, with a view to what legislation is likely to get through. So there'll be a range of factors they're, they're bearing in mind. And this has been a point of debate in this situation. Can you have stability in a hung parliament or is it innately an unstable form of government? No, there are plenty of examples around the world of hung parliaments that work very well and we've seen a number of examples of those at state level in Australia in recent years. Uh, so there's no reason why it should be unstable. I think one of the questions for me is the balance really between the, uh, the tenor of the House of Representatives, depending on whether it's an Abbott or a Gillard government, and the, the one given that we do have at the moment, which is a Senate that will be uh, having the Greens with a balance of power. So there might be a bit of instability between the Houses there, perhaps. Now, under what circumstances would there need to be a, a fresh election? Well, I think if, uh, if uh, one side forms a government and then finds that it's got a compromise in its legislative program so much to get it through the House of Representatives and then finds it chopped up again uh, by a, a, in the Senate with a combination of Greens and one of the major parties, if they're arguing that their legislative program is being frustrated and the party in government senses that there is a mood uh, for them across the country, then they might be tempted for an early election, perhaps in 18 months. Now we heard from uh, Ted Mack a little earlier saying don't rush to call this, uh, votes are still being counted, a clear winner could emerge. Is that a possibility? I think so. I think on balance, though, I would suggest that we are likely to see a hung parliament in you know, the 72, 73, somewhere between that, you know, around those numbers for the major parties. As an outside chance, one of the parties will get to 76, but I think really uh, the independents are quite sensibly talking now because the most likely outcome is still a hung parliament. Finally, what's the role of the Governor-General in all this? Uh, when and will she step in briefly? Well, effectively, she will be taking constitutional advice, uh, and it's really for one of the party leaders to come to her and say, I'm confident I've got the numbers to command a majority in terms of confidence and supply on the floor of the House of Representatives. And if the Governor-General receives an assurance that, that she can you know, put some faith in uh, from one of those party leaders, then she's likely to commission that government. I think if the, if the Parliament splits essentially 75-75, then we'll, uh, she'll have some further questions to be asking. Glenn McIntyre, thank you. Thank you.